Hey everyone, Lewis here for Pixel Surplus and today I'm going to be teaching you how to create typographic illustrations using the envelope distort tool in Adobe Illustrator and as an added bonus, a quick tutorial on how to use the transparency window. This is going to be a great video, so let's jump right in. First I'm going to begin by opening Adobe Illustrator and creating an artboard at 1920 by 1080. I went online and found this image of an aeroplane. I'm going to be using this for my illustration but feel free to use whatever image you'd like. A lot of examples online use animals or even cars. So think outside the box and create something awesome. Now that I've got my image scaled correctly onto my artboard, I'm going to lock the layer and create a new one. On my new layer, I'm just going to use the pen tool to create the outline of my illustration. Feel free to pen tool around the aeroplane or whatever image you're using at home I'm just going to speed up the video and I'll be back once I've got my outline ready to go. Great, now that I've got the outline of my aeroplane complete, there's a few pieces that I'm going to need to use the Pathfinder tool for. For example, the wing of my plane and the supporting beams are separate from the aeroplane itself. So I'm going to select those, head to Pathfinder and use the Unite tool. Next I need to subtract the hubcap from the aeroplane wheel. So I'm going to select them both, head to Pathfinder and use minus front. For my illustration, I'm going to be using a vibrant blue. The hex code is 16C1D3 if you'd like to use it at home. Now it's time to prepare our text for our illustration. The font that I'll be using today is Symbria by Font Forestry. Symbria is a versatile sans serif that can be used for vintage aesthetic as well as minimalist design. These six options are a great tool for your typeface arsenal. And as always, Symbria can be found at Pixel Surplus. Links to Pixel Surplus will be in the description below, so head down there and get it downloaded. I'm going to begin by typing out Adventure Awaits using Symbria Bold Textured. And I'm just going to increase the tracking slightly to 25 points. Now that my text is ready, I'm going to right click and hit Create Outlines. Then I'm going to ungroup the phrase and just group back the individual words by selecting them and hitting Control G on your keyboard. Now let's position Adventure Awaits on top of our aeroplane. You're going to just scale the width so that the Adventure Awaits fits just inside the body of the aeroplane or the object that you're using for your design. So mine's going to look something like this. I'm then just going to shift adventure up seeing as most of the characters are just higher than the awaits because of the shape of the aeroplane. Awesome. I think I'm happy with this so I'm ready to continue. First I'm going to select adventure, then I'm going to hit object, envelope distort and make with mesh. I'm then going to decrease the amount of rows to two and I'm going to increase the column one for each letter of my word. Adventure has nine letters, so I'm going to use nine columns. Then I'm going to hit OK. Now this is the fun part. Using the direct select tool or by hitting A on your keyboard, grab the anchor points above your letters and start dragging them into place. This can definitely take some time, but I think the more time you spend on it, the better the results. Definitely start thinking about all of the fun things that you can do with each character. For example, this V could really sink towards this wheel, taking up a lot of this blue space, and even this T extending up into this area of the cockpit. The more adventurous you get with the type, the better the result. So I'm just going to continue to grab anchor points and drag them into positions until I'm happy with my result. I'm going to fast forward the video, so feel free to pause it if you need more time, and I'll see you in a moment.
Awesome. I'm happy with my word adventure, so it's now time to do the same again for awaits. Select it, head to object, envelope to store, and make with mesh. Now I'm going to decrease the amount of columns to six. Then using the direct select tool by hitting A, I'm going to drag out my anchor points to fill up the illustration with my text once again. Great, so you've got your text all laid out, but it's now time to subtract that from our illustration using the transparency tool. Let's begin by opening the transparency panel. You can do this by heading to Windows, Transparency. Now that we have our transparency window open, we're going to go ahead and select both pieces of text and hit Control X on your keyboard to cut them. We're then going to select our illustration and this should bring up the illustration in one box with a gray square in the other. We're now going to hit make mask. Then select the right hand box and we're going to paste in place our text that we just cut. You can do this by hitting control F on your keyboard. You should now see that your text has been subtracted from your illustration and you can see all the way through to the background. If this isn't the case, make sure that the clip and inverted mask options aren't ticked. If you're looking for a more detailed explanation on transparency and the transparency panel, I'd recommend watching the Pixel Surplus YouTube video, how to apply textures to a vector design and typography in Illustrator. I dive into a lot more detail and it should give you all the answers you need there. Links to this video can be found in the description below, so go check it out. To really bring our design together, I think it's about time that we add a texture to our illustration. The textures I'll be using for my illustration are 10 Free Vintage Textures Pack by Bart Weslick. This is going to be the perfect way to round off our illustration, and you can find these texture packs at Pixel Surplus. Links to Pixel Surplus will be found in the description below. Once I have my texture pack open, I'm going to be using the bottom right one. So I'm going to copy that from my artboard and head back to my illustration, make sure that I'm in the right side of my transparency panel, and I'm going to paste it on top. You should now see that your texture has been subtracted from your image, giving you this awesome textured illustration. And as one final touch, we're just going to add a roughen to our illustration. So make sure that you click on the left box to get out of the transparency. This will allow you to edit and move your entire illustration instead of just the things that you want to be transparent. We're going to head to Effect, Distort and Transform and Roughen. Then I'm going to select Absolute and Smooth and just play with the size and detail of your roughening texture. I'm going to settle for a size of 4 pixels and a detail of 5, but your mileage may vary and it really depends on the scale of your image. Once I'm happy, I'm going to hit OK. And as the final touch, let's add a background colour. So I'm going to grab the rectangle tool or hit M on my keyboard, Draw out rectangle at 1920 by 1080 and fill it in with this deep blue gray. The hex code for this color is 2A2A33. Then send our background to the back by hitting Control, Shift, Open square brackets on your keyboard. And there you have it, how to create typographic illustrations in Adobe Illustrator using the envelope distort and mesh tool. Please like and subscribe and ring the little bell so you don't miss any of our future content. And head into the description and let us know if you enjoyed the video or what you'd like to see from us next. We're really interested on your thoughts. And if you're interested in getting your hands on the font or texture that I used in today's tutorial, you should head into the description where you'll find links to Pixel Surplus. Speaking of Pixel Surplus, you should just get over there right now 
because Pixel Surplus is home to the best free fonts, textures, mockups, templates, and tutorials on the internet, as well as the best premium font bundles around. I'm talking the best fonts you could think of for a 90% discount. I don't know why anybody would want to miss out on them, and especially not you. So head over there right now. Thanks for watching today's video and have a great day everyone.